Hello everyone, Sterling here of Cactus Lady Creation and in this video I'll be sharing the process of organizing my craft room. The shelf system I had before wasn't working so I had to get a new one and redesign my organizing system. I will be sharing my favorite organizing tips and containers with you. My home is really small so my studio space is also small at the moment as well. It only occupies a corner in the living room so I wanted to share how I make use of all the space with you for my art and craft supplies. First, I cleared a space where the shelf system was going to go and of course cleaned up any spills from previous crafting. My number one tip for making use of small space in a craft room is to get a tall shelf system if you don't have much floor space, the best thing to do is utilize as much empty vertical space as you can. This shelf system is 48 inches wide by 72 inches tall, so it has plenty of storage. I also like to use as open storage as possible so that I can see where all of the craft supplies are, which is why I don't use a drawer or cupboard system. I like to keep the middle of the room clean and place everything on the sides so that it's easier to move everything around while organizing. The number one reason why I love this shelf system is that you can easily adjust where each shelf is going to go and it can handle over 100 pounds on each shelf. One of my favorite organizing containers is the basic wooden crate. It is sturdy, looks nice, and is rustic which is one of my favorite styles and can hold a lot of supplies. I empty out each container fully when organizing and also keep and reuse old freezer and sandwich bags to put cords in. Does anyone else have over a billion cords like I do? For me, rubber banding each one and storing them this way works very well. Also, I put all of the heaviest items on the bottom shelves to keep the shelf from being top heavy and tipping over and to prevent injury. My next favorite container is a see-through plastic container for papers, beads, and painting supplies. It keeps all of them organized and allows me to see where everything is. I put all of the supplies that I used in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. I love to keep all of the old cardboard containers for upcycle and journaling projects. I also love these whitewashed wood crates with the chicken wire on the side for a nice shabby chic look and because I can see through these as well. As you can tell, one of my favorite materials to work with is wood. I love collecting twigs from nature walks and driftwood from various travels to different beaches. Storing them all in one container like this helps me to keep inventory of them all. Another one of my favorite organizing containers are these metal crates. I love storing my yarns in them because I can see where everything is on all sides. 
This is very helpful if you have a billion yarns at a time like me. I also decided to put the desk in the middle of the space this time, but still tucked close to the corner to still allow some space on the wall by the front door of the apartment for storing shoes and placing a rug or more decor. My goodness, I still have a lot more sorting to do. First, I will scrape all the paint and clay residue from crafting sessions from this desk. I love this desk because no matter how many cloths I put down, I still manage to get paint or something on it, but it all came off pretty easy with just a little bit of scraping. One of my favorite organizing containers are just basic aluminum cans. Firstly, they cost zero dollars and are also so versatile when it comes to DIY projects and styling them for your space. Also, you can place so many craft tools in them and they will look nice and neat. I want to paint these guys so that they fit in with my shabby chic farmhouse minimalistic theme, so I'm going to give them each two coats of chalk paint in the milk jug color. I love this paint because it is non-toxic and isn't strong smelling and also goes on thick so a little goes a long way. While those dry, I'm going to organize my other whitewashed crate. So I took everything out to get an inventory and I'm placing all of my craft supplies back in and reusing plastic baggies to keep all of those little materials grouped together. Now that those cans are dry, I'm going to use a sand sponge and gently sand each one to give it an extra shabby chic distressed look. Then I placed all of the pins, pencils, markers, etc. back in. These would be extra sweet with some little labels, but maybe I'll save those for another video and day. Then I arranged them all on the shelf, along with another see-through container holding all of my painting supplies. Another one of my favorite containers is just a regular see-through plastic container. There is probably a better way to organize everything into this, but I find them to be helpful for placing fabric scraps, projects in progress, and paper rolls. They're basically a great way to sort all the big and bulky miscellaneous things. Now to sort all of my yarns, I cake them using my yarn winder and place them into the metal wire bins. I have so many yarns and cotton rope spools on the way, so I will use the other craft bins for those materials. Another great thing about the wooden crates is that you can get them in small sizes too. I find that the smaller ones work well for sorting out little things that I reach for all of the time. Papers, 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 yikes. Does anyone else have a stack of papers left at the end and not know what to do with them like me? I think I found the perfect solution for them for now. First I separated them into a keep and throw pile and then I organized the keep pile into these metal wire baskets that hang off the desk, which worked very well. They came in a pack of two and are very versatile. This is what my craft corner looked like in the end. I really like the way it turned out. There are definitely ways to fine tune it more, but it's perfect for now with the storage containers I had. I made pretty good use of the small space that I have and found that putting my desk where it is really helped open up the room. I hope you enjoyed organizing with me and thank you for watching.